Hey there. Today we are learning lesson 9.2 and 9.4, add and subtract fraction. In fourth grade, let me note, in fourth grade, we um, only work with fractions that have common denominators and until we get to the point where we're adding tenths and hundredths, but I'll show you how to do that. All right, and in fourth grade, we do not have to simplify here in Pennsylvania. It's not one of our state standards. It's in, that's a fifth grade standard. So if you know how to simplify, that's great practice, but it's not something you have to know. All right, let's review. Write an equation for this model and solve. All right, let's write the equation for this model. Where's my cursor? There we go. So our equation would be 1 fourth plus, there are two of them here, so plus 2 fourths. And what's our total? How many fourths do we have? This was yesterday's lesson. Yeah, we have three fourths. Okay, great. You remember. Good work. All right, let's look at this review. Write an equation for this model and solve. Go ahead and do it, and then come back and see if you get it right. All right, so the equation for this would be one third plus two thirds. And solve now, and we have to solve, equals for a total of three, uh-oh, I tried to trick you, three-thirds really equals, do you remember? Remember that this line is also a division line, so three divided by three equals one, one whole. Did you get that? Yes, all right. Hmm, I can't trick you. I tried, I certainly tried. All right, let's watch this quick little video here. Let's see what we're gonna do today. Adding fractions with a common denominator. We have two fractions, and here's a model to represent them. We have to add them together. Both of the holes are divided up into eight parts, so we've got denominators of eight on both of these fractions. In total, we have some number of parts out of eight. We add the shaded parts to find out how many parts we've got, and that's going to be our numerator. Three plus four is seven parts out of eight. If I remove the model and we just focus on the fractions, you can see the denominator is unchanged. It stays as parts out of eight. So you can see, when you add fractions, if the denominator is the same, you keep it and just add the numerators. In this example, we've got six parts out of 10 plus two parts out of 10. Six plus two is eight parts out of 10. But then I can say to you, okay. I want you to reduce well, we're not your fraction reduce. to its lowest Stop terms. Talking. Stop. If you've watched my other stop. films on fractions so stop. far. Stop. Yeah. <laughs> I'm trying to get her to stop. Anyway, reducing is putting it in simplest form. And like I said in the beginning of this, we don't do that here in Pennsylvania in fourth grade. So we are going to move on. All right, let's solve. Remember what she said. When the denominators are the same, and they are here, they're both five, we leave the denominator and we add the numerators. So this would equal, denominator stays the same. 2 plus 1 is 3. The denominator stays the same. Remember that? <laughs> All right, let's try another one. How about this one? Why don't you go ahead and try it on your own? Okay, so the denominator stays the same. <laughs> 6 plus 3 is, you got it, 9. 9 elevenths. Well done. Oh, don't let me trick you. Go ahead and try this one on your own. I bet I tricked some of you. All right, you ready? Did you notice that this is subtraction? Hey, the rule's the same on subtraction. The denominators are the same, so I'm going to keep the denominator the same. And then I will subtract across the top. Six minus three is three. Did you get it or did I trick you? No, it's okay if I tricked you. 
Be careful, though. You have to watch. How about this one? Go ahead and try it. Okay, so the denominators are the same, so we're going to keep the denominator the same. I know I didn't say it weird that time, huh? 4 minus 3 equals 1. Did you get 1 fifth? High five. Don't actually hit your computer, though. That would be bad. <laughs> All right. Let's see. Okay, let, this is a we do. Let's do this one together. So write each fraction as the sum of the unit fractions. So sum means we're adding. And unit fractions, remember we break all those down right here. So here's our sum of our unit fractions, or I'm sorry, sum of the unit fractions, yes. Then write an equation to decompose the fraction in a different way. I already did this one for you, even though it says we do. So breaking it down into the sum of unit fractions, we have four fifths. So one, two, three, four, this is wrong. There should not be, this should not be there. So one, two, three, four fifths, right? And then a different way to come up with four fifths, four fifths, 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 I said that wrong, is one third plus, or one fifth plus three fifths because the denominator stays the same and we add across the top, right? Okay, let's see if you can do it. So grab your whiteboard. Hopefully you already have it. Here's a you do. Write each fraction as the sum of unit as the sum of unit fractions, then write an equation to decompose the fraction in a different way. Go ahead and hit pause, give it a try. All right, so the sum of unit fractions is going to be that 1 7th plus, remember sum is plus, 1 7th plus 1 7th. There it is, sum of unit fractions. Now, decompose the fraction in a different way. So what if we did 2 sevenths plus, oh, that is a 7, 1 seventh. So this equals 3, this equals 3. Did you get it? Fist bump. Don't actually hit your computer. That could be bad. All right. You are ready, friends, to go ahead and go back to Schoology. Check out what your assignment is. If you need help, Join me back in the live session. You know what to do. Uh, good work today, friends. Good luck with your independent practice, and I will see you in a jam.